Ex-Pac PM Nawaz Sharif performs Umrah in Saudi Arabia. Greetings from Royal Family Lid on my channel. On October 21, the former Prime Minister would take a special plane to Pakistan as the last leg of his voyage, Islamabad. After completing his four-year self-imposed exile, former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif completed the Umrah pilgrimage in Saudi Arabia and is anticipated to meet with important figures prior to his planned return to Pakistan on October 21. Geo News said on Friday that the leader of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, PNLN, departed London for Pakistan on Wednesday, traveling through Riyadh and Dubai. October 21 marks the return of Sharif to Pakistan, bringing an end of his self-imposed exile in London, where he has resided since 2019. In the general elections that are anticipated to take place in January of next year, he is anticipated to lead his PNLN party. On Thursday, the 73-year-old former prime minister made the Umrah, or pilgrimage to Mecca, with the help of his son Hussein Sharif and a few close advisors. On the trip to Saudi Arabia, Sharif was accompanied by a few other people in addition to his close aides Mian Nosir Janjua, Wakar Ahmed, and his buddy Karim Yusuf. During his visit, Sharif will have crucial talks with the royal family and other senior Saudi officials, according to a story in The Nation Daily. On October 16 or 17, the three-time prime minister will then travel from Jeddah to Dubai in order to meet with UAE officials, according to a story in the Express Tribune Daily that cited party sources. According to the sources, Sharif is also expected to pay a brief visit to Qatar. After that, he is expected to return to Dubai. On October 21, the former prime minister would take a special plane to Pakistan as the last leg of his voyage. The Umidi Pakistan aircraft carrying Sharif will take out from Dubai, arrive in Islamabad and then go to Lahore, where he will speak to the crowd at Minari, Pakistan. His whereabouts remain uncertain as he was previously labeled an absconder and may face arrest upon his arrival in Pakistan. In order to allow him to speak at the rally before being sent to jail, the PNLN has organized to obtain a protective bail. Ishaq Dar, a prominent politician of the PNLN and a former finance minister, stated that there is no possibility of Sharif being detained upon his return to Pakistan. He promised to get protective and transit bail from the court. Nawaz Sharif will adhere to the established legal protocols. 2017 saw Sharif resign as prime leader of Pakistan when the Supreme Court permanently barred him from public office for failing to disclose a receivable income. After receiving a four-week authorization from the LHC to travel overseas for treatment, he moved to London in 2019. Prior to being granted permission to go to London in 2019 on medical grounds, he was serving a seven-year sentence at the Cot Lakpat Jail in Lahore in connection with the Al Azizia Mills case. He was deemed a proclaimed criminal in the Tasha Khanna Automobiles case by an accountability court in 2020. Additionally, he is charged with receiving expensive automobiles from the Treasury House for a mere 15% of the total cost. In 2018, Sharif was found guilty in the corruption trials involving Al Azizia Mills and Avonfield. 